Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Jim Shave. <coughs> Sunday, early start tomorrow. I've got just over 24 hours growth, so it's shave time. It's gonna a pre-shaved hot flannel, pro razzle. Let's noise up again. Well, today I'm going to be shaving with, uh, oh sorry, I'll just move it along there. Something new, two things new. Firstly, I'm going to be using the Ariana and Evans Kaizen. See what it's all about. See what all the fuss is about. It smells beautiful. It's a nice, sweet, sweet scent. I can uh, certainly smell the uh, hemp seeds. But it's, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a really nice smell. I don't know how to describe it in fact, but it's nice. It's on the sweet side. It's not floral. It's... I don't know, sweetie fruity, sweet shop, if you know what I mean. Now, the shaver for today. I've always wanted to try a Razorini. And uh, John June, he's very kindly sent me this Razorini here. So uh, I'll be shaving with that today. It's, uh, it's not what I thought it'd be. When I very first ever saw these in adverts, I used to think they were basically a DE raise with a handle on the side, but they're not. They're not. You don't have the uh, you don't have the security of that uh, safety bar, so to speak. Um, and in that, I'm going to be using Voskod Voskod blade. John very kindly sent me that too, plus a Rockwell blade, which I'll uh, I'll try on a further shave before I return the Razorini to him. So already love the. Uh, Eyes on in a bowl to save time. Did actually take a fair bit of moisture using two band badger brush here by Steve McEwen, silver birch brushes. Got a bad cut on my head there, it's not shaving related. It's actually, I couldn't find my very focals and I uh, grabbed a, an old pair of reading glasses which were damaged and gave myself a nice little cut. So I expect the app to open up because uh, Razorini can be fairly uh, aggressive. I don't want to be too long because it's uh, getting near bedtime and I'm up early as I say. Feels nice on the face. Okay, a Razorini. Trying to avoid this little cut up here. I don't know if will. It's very nice. It is. It's. Uh, I found a sweet spot really easily. Very smooth. Now one of the first videos I saw of uh, somebody using a razor in here was uh, Geo Fatboy. And he said, this knob here, it always has to face outwards. So you've always got to shave with your knob out. So my knob's out and I'm shaving. Perhaps I should stand back from the sink a little bit. It's not that big a knob. One of my danger areas here. Oh, nearly did it wrong then, see? Didn't have my knob out. Always have your knob out, shave with your knob out. Oh, the neighbours can't hear me. <laughs> Bad enough, I... Uh... I'm 
nasty spot I've had there for a while. It's bad enough, Falso has set the air. Kai's nicely arrived, well, so is ours. So the neighbour took the parcel in for me. And for those that know, oh, you feel a blade, oh, nice. For those that know, there's a company in the UK, Slip Boys. They supply the Kaizen. So next door neighbour took this parcel in for me. Tape all around it. Slick boys, so I don't know what they think I'm up to. I haven't uh, been able to uh, do much on the video front this week. We've been busy. So I've spent the best part of the day trying to catch up. No, I think I've grown a moustache because I hate, I hate shaving that top lip, I really do. It's a real danger area for me. This soap's drying out. I think I'll need some more uh, hydration. Very nice on the neck. Loud music booming from next door. I hope you come on to hear it. Oh, got a weeper there. How unusual, me having a weeper. So the worst thing about having me, me a tripod like this, I'm so far from the minute, so far from the minute. Right, quick rinse. Good first pass. Straight in for the second. I think we'll add just a bit more moisture to this. Not a lot, just a little. Nice, lovely, clean scent. Just to so you can see what I'm doing. Right, try this out. Cross the rain with my knob out. I'm enjoying it. God, I'm so jealous of guys that have goatees, you know. <laughs> Do, do, do. 
So I'm concentrating a lot more than I would be with a DE. I am having to think about the shave a lot more. Just leave my danger zones. So easy to just catch yourself. On the upper lip. Right. Onto the neck, across the grain. I'll tell you what, it is, oh, it's got to be one of the best things of shape with, on, the, on the neck. It's, uh, it is, it's super, it's super smooth, super. Super easy, super, super comfortable on the neck. Watch me cock it up now. <laughs> In true Jim will shave fashion. Then we show the knobs on the outside. Yeah, I think I will have to uh, invest in one of these, the old Razorini. It's a great Italian piece of kit. They know what they're doing, all the Italian barbers, don't they? Some of the best soap, some of the best shavers. Right, rinse. The big boys pass. Mmm. Such a pleasure. Scent, a uh, pleasurable scent on this uh, Kaizen. Now, I know you see guys on YouTube and they really make a fantastic job of making a Santa Claus beard with this stuff. But, I don't want to spend that long one video. I got a bit conscious that the uh, video was running too long and people would just be flicking through anyway. And it would just affect your click through guys. So, don't get me wrong, if I was shaving off camera, which I do a lot, I'd spend more time. And my dome shapes, uh, I spend a lot of time laughing on the dome shapes. I like to use Mitchell's wolf fat on the dome, so uh, that's a long process. So, uh, Mitchell's wolf fat, it's, I find it easy to lather, but if I don't get it just right, it dissip dissipates very quickly. But, uh, right. This is the pass I'm scared of. Nice. Very nice. Whiskers cutting. Cool. 
bit glad to invest in one of those magnified shaver mirrors. I think that'll make life a lot easier, I think. Now, I don't like going against the grain on my nose, but I better top with any razor, but I'll see how it feels. Okay, so far. That's scrubbing like right under the uh, That's a lot of shavers with me. That. Struggling. That's just my uh, moustache. If I chance to anymore, I'd cut myself, definitely. Or I'd end up with weepers and creepers. Why take the chance? Again, it's not a reflection on the razor, any. It's just my moustache. The only razor that I can really get to grips that gets to grips with my top lip is the uh, Rockwell and Play Four. The whole goatee area, I just take going and it's a grain on it. Sorry for being so quiet. Normally chat's a bit more than this, don't I? But it's a new challenge and I think I've got myself a right cropper there. So yeah, Carlos, Carlos, see, got myself on the, on the top lip against the grain. I knew that was gonna happen. Carlos, Carlitos, I should say, yeah, his first. Straight razor shave today on camera. Only two nicks. Well known Carlitos. I've worked to be nick free and to learn going against the grain on a goatee. What? Oh, this is. What happens? And the next done. Done good. Right. I don't know what it is with me, but uh, the slightest, even the slightest nick, and I bleed like a pig. It's a. Uh, it wood must be so thin. It's always tricky to stop, too. It's the slightest, slightest of nicks. Uh, it's always an ordeal for me. See, just gushing out. Rest of the face, no sting. No sting, just the usual single. Neck feels good, slight single. Look at that blood man. Does anybody else bleed like this? I mean most guys that'd be a little a little weeper, a little spot. And it'd be done. 
Me? No. <laughs> Come on, stop your bugger. Listen, and I'll just stop bleeding. But it doesn't work on me. Right. We're not gonna stop that with the album, I don't think. Wait, it's it's not it's not serious, look, it's just slicest of nicks. I'd really hate to cut myself really bad. I've been right trouble, wouldn't I? You have had a industrial accident or something. I remember once I had a meat up go through my fingers. It had uh, half a side of pork hanging on it. It come off the runner rails. And, uh, Lord, that was a horrific bloodbath. Anyway, everywhere else, yeah. Good shave. BBS, got no pickups on the neck. Come on, little, come on, little weeper, stop. Look at the little bugger. <laughs> right. Super. So we'll put some, oh, I've got this sitting here, Prorazzo. Sensitive pull shave bar. I'll uh, put some of that on as it's sitting here. I'll let it mix in with the, uh, me nick. Turn it pink. I think I'll be, uh, Waking up with red spots on the pillow at half past four in the morning. <laughs> it's not going to stop you, you bugger. You're going to make me look right. Yeah, there we go then. So that's it. My first razorini shave. One. Look, I think I've got the measure of the razorini. And I think... At some point in the near future, I'll be investing in one. Okay, so I'll quickly recap. I'd, 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 I'd probably be better off not recapping my saying just buying now because I'll put a little bit out on my t shirt by the time I finish. Okay, so the soap today was the uh, Kaizen, Ariana and Evans. Nice soap. Doesn't stop you getting cut though. Brush with silver birch brushes, Steve McEwen. You'll find him on all the Facebook groups, turns his own brushes, does his own paws. Nice stuff. Laid for today was the Vok Voskod. Little bit of pre shave, used the uh, Prorazzo white range, so as not to uh, contaminate the scent of the area and the heavens. Ties on. And finish off with just a special presso poche bomb. <laughs> Don't believe it. This is why I have dark towels. And the start of the day was the Razorini. Excellent shaver. Very, very comfortable. Can catch you. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Excellent share, yeah. never ever be afraid of using one of these. Okay, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all further down the line. Bye bye now, guys. Bye bye.